Hello and welcome to another review of a PlayStation 4 game. This time I'll be reviewing Secret Ponchos. Now, this was the other free PSN game this month of December. Uh, an indie game by a studio called Switchblade Monkeys. Now, I was drawn to the art style of this game almost instantly. I saw the, the picture in the description when downloading it and it looked a very cool comic book style design. But I had heard absolutely nothing about it. Nothing at all. I hadn't seen any screenshots, seen anything online or in magazines. So I went into this completely unaware of what it was going to be. I didn't even realise it was actually going to be a, a multiplayer game. I thought if anything it would be a sort of a stylized side scrolling platformer. But no, it's not. It's it's an isometric sort of deathmatch style game in the third person. Uh, it's not behind the gun and it's in full 3D. And it does, it has a very cool art style and basically you fight online against other players. You choose a character at the beginning and you fight in death matches or team death matches and the better you do you get a higher wanted level and therefore you know people that kill you when your wanted level is higher get more money you can then upgrade your characters you, you choose between a set one or two characters at the beginning I think there's the gunslinger which is who I'm playing as um, or no is he the hunter and then there's the gunslinger which is the wee guy there with the red hair that's jumping around like a ferret and there's the matador which is a, a female character who has um, sort of a sword and a cape to protect herself. I played in a match later on with a guy that had obviously unlocked a character that I hadn't had and it was sort of a skeleton, like something out of Grim Fandango, but he had a whip and he could hit you from quite a far distance and stun you and then, you know, move in for the kill. So, yeah, I went into this game, I, I didn't know what the hell I was doing and, I mean, I played it for a wee while, but this, this footage here initially is of the first game that I played and I had no fucking idea what I was doing. No idea. Um, so I apologise profusely for the for the terrible gameplay. I basically figured out how to jump around. I didn't even know how to change my weapons, how to reload. <laughs> that took about a couple of minutes before I even figured out how to do that. So I apologise for the, the poor gameplay here. But um, yeah... I didn't think it was particularly great, um, and I'm I'm not just saying that because I wasn't great at the game. I thought that it didn't have that much to offer, apart from the very cool graphic style. I think that's what draws you in. If this if this had been a simple military kind of shooter game with semi-realistic sort of graphics, then well, more, more casual gamers might have been interested, but I certainly wouldn't have been as interested. And it was the, the Western comic style uh, that, that interested me. Uh, I love Western films and I love comic books. So the two together drew me in. And uh, once I got playing it, I was a wee bit disappointed. I played a few games of the different modes. I played the free-for-all. There's different modes as well where it's like 1v1, 2v2 and uh, this is what this game is here. This is me and a, uh, another guy fighting two others and uh, you know there's a bit of tactics involved, a bit of teamwork. You know if you run off without your partner you, you know you'll get you'll get your ass handed to you or I did anyway. Um, there wasn't, there was, didn't seem to be a huge amount of skill involved. I mean, people just sort of ran around. Um, you can use cover, and it, a lot of cover can be destroyed, like some of these gravestones, and that can be destroyed. And the music is very cool. You know, it's got a cool western sort of theme to it, as expected. And apart from that, there's not really much else to say. I can't really see it taking up a lot more of my time, or anyone's time, to be honest. 
Uh, I think it's good that it got off the mark by being free on PSN, and I think that'll get maybe a few more people interested. But yet again, kind of like the other game this month, Titans Attacks, uh, Titan Attacks, sorry. I wouldn't spend my money on this uh, unless it was extremely cheap and, you know, I wasn't looking to buy anything else or I was just looking for a little game to play for a few days. I can imagine it'd be quite fun with friends, you know, if you've got a couple other friends that have this game, as multiplayer games are, you're playing it with friends, it's always more fun. But yeah, not a great game, but not terribly bad either. Worth a go if you're on PS Plus. Download it for free, give it a shot, see what you think yourself. So, if you have downloaded it, what do you think of it? Do you think it's only worth it because it's free? Or would you do you actually quite like it and you would pay some money towards this? If you think so, then let me know in the comments below. And thanks very much for watching, guys.